What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Cherry, and welcome back to Life of Cherry. Hi, my Cherry Blossoms. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. And happy Friday. As you know, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Set up falling over. Get, get back in place, boo. Okay. As you know, on Fridays, I love to drop my savings challenge videos so we could save it up, boo. So right now, before we even get into the video, go to the comment section and let me know how much money you were able to save this week. How much money are you putting aside today? And if you didn't save any money, if you're not putting anything aside, let me just tell you, today is the perfect day to save $20. That's right. If you didn't think about saving, boo, now think about it and go get $20 and put it under your mattress, in your bank account, put it in the stock market, do something with that $20 besides spend it, okay? And with that being said, I am doing the 100 Envelope Savings Challenge. And with this challenge, I will be able to save a total of $5,050. It is so exciting for me to upload these videos every week and to read the comments for you guys to encourage me and motivate me to keep going and to read your comments where you're saying that I'm encouraging you and I'm motivating you to keep going, okay? So we could do this together. You motivate me, I motivate you. Let's, how about that, okay? So yes, today, well, let me just tell you really quickly, if you never heard of this challenge, how it works is there are envelopes from $1 to $100. The envelopes are labeled, you can strategically pick an envelope you can randomly pick an envelope you can however you choose the goal is as often as you can as much as you can stuff your envelopes and so every envelope is filled in which means you have stuffed every envelope and you have a total of five thousand and fifty dollars saved okay so let's continue on with our journey in today's video I will be stuffing, show me the money, honey. I will be stuffing $120. Now, how I'm going to be doing this, and this is also another approach that you can take. If you're looking for strategies, tips, and techniques to completing your 100 envelope challenge, please check out this video right here. And this, let me see, is my finger in the right spot? Let me see, let me see. Oh no, we are not right here, boom. See this? Check out that video right there because I will go in to detail about different ways and strategies that you can do this challenge. Some of you have comment different things that you have done to speed this challenge along. I know one of my supporters, one of my Cherry Blossoms said that they knocked out all the small numbers first and they are doing the larger numbers, but they have noticed like they're struggling. They're struggling to get through those big numbers. That is not a technique that I would suggest you use. Yeah, it may seem exciting and fun. Like, oh, I have from $1 all the way up to $44 filled in. But boo, when you got to fill in $61 all the way up to $100, it get real hard. You start sweating. You start recalculating things. You decide not to buy this so you got money to put here. So don't do that. Do not stress yourself out and do it that way. So if you want to know multiple ways and tips and tricks for doing this challenge, again, Watch the video that will be up here, that was up here. You get the point. Let's get into it. So I have $120. Obviously, there is no $120 envelope. And the $100 one is filled in. And the $20 one is filled in. So what is Cherry going to do? Very simple. I'm going to go to the next best number, a.k.a. the next biggest number, which is 98. So automatically, when I'm coming with a decent amount of money... I'm hitting, my, hitting up my big numbers. Hitting up my big numbers, period. Now, I could nickel and dime it and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like filling all of these numbers with my 120, but why? You got to work smarter, not harder when doing this challenge. Don't be fooled and deceived by seeing a lot of envelopes colored in and feeling like, okay, yeah, I'm doing it. You are doing it, boo, but you're going you gonna to get stressed out when you get to the bottom half. So what I'm going to do is take my 120. The next biggest number I have is 98. I'm going to color in my 98 um, envelope, my $98 envelope. And then now what I'm going to do is use my handy dandy calculator. If I have 120 and then I just subtracted 98 or I just colored in 98, 
that will leave me with $22 left. So now I'm going to go over to my $22 envelope, which is right here, and fill this number in as well. So this week, I end up filling in two numbers, or I did two envelopes. So this is definitely another um, technique or strategy you can use. Just bring, or you don't even have to bring more than $100. If you put $100 every time you did this, and you just started with the larger numbers and worked your way up, then that could be a strategy as well. So yeah, I just added 120 in, and I'm actually more happy and excited that I am tackling more numbers from 50 down than I am from 50 up, because it's nothing boo to, to go. If I dig in my pocket, I could find a dollar and be done with this one. So I wanna kinda save the easier numbers for when I get to the end, so, because I know at the end when you got those last couple of envelopes, you're like, come on, come on, let's just get through this so we can be done. And I want my numbers to be low so I can breeze right through it. All right. So, with that being said, let me count up how much I now have saved. Oh, and also, someone wrote in the comments that they're doing a 100 envelope challenge, but they do not count how much they have saved. Because when they count it, they will be tempted to take the money and spend it. Yes, I totally get it. I will be tempted to spend the money too. But... Once I do this video, this money in this binder goes away and it's out of mind, out of sight for me. And that's that's just how I am. I have a little bit more um, self-control when it comes to savings challenges because I've been doing them for a while. Now, if this was the beginning stages, baby, as soon as I had $100, I would have been like, let me get 20 out that 100 Like, I would have been peeling money. But now I'm more, I'm more, um, um, oh, I got a brain freeze. Lord, take the will. But now I'm better. Let's just leave it at that. Your girl is better and I don't pull the funds from my savings challenges. So now in my 100 envelope savings challenge, I have a total of 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 850, 870, 890, 910, 930, 950, 970, 990, 990 $1,010. Oh my god, I'm so excited! So I have 1010, compose yourself, girl. 130, 150, 160, 165. Whoa, I have $1,065 now saved in my 100 envelope challenge. It's exciting to hit that first $1,000 mark. Like, check that's done. I think maybe I'll keep um, a little note in the back, like every time I hit another thousand dollars. So like on this day I hit one thousand sixty-five dollars. On this day I hit two thousand and so on for it until I hit the five thousand dollar mark. But it's exciting. I'm at a thousand dollars. Well, a little over a thousand dollars. Slow and steady will win the race. Okay. It doesn't matter how slow you're going. Just keep going, and eventually, someday, one day. You will reach the finish line, period. Don't stop, because if you stop, then no progress will be made at all. Even if you have to take a break, by all means, take a break. But never stop, never give up, okay? So, yeah, I'm excited. If you are doing the 100 Envelope Savings Challenge, drop a comment down below letting me know how much you put in your challenge this week and how much do you have um, saved in total. All right, my cherry blossoms, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and become an official Cherry Blossom. I hope you all have a great, wonderful weekend, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, Blossoms. Oh, wait a minute. Please, please, go watch my last cash stuffing video and go watch my cash unstuffing video. Both of those videos dropped this week. So if you're not caught up, go show your girl some love and watch those videos, all right? Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Bye, Blossoms.